We're going to talk about the stock market. And we got a hot market up today, and that's 11 straight wins for the Dow. I think it's for the S&P. I think it's for everything. Uh, year to date, it's up. I don't know. David Bonson is going to tell us. David is the managing partner at the Bonson Group and author of There's No Free Lunch. All right, Dave Bonson, so the rally is broadening out, which is important. Um, does the Federal Reserve meeting on, well, they'll make their announcement on Wednesday. Does that matter? Uh, not in the short term. If they're going to continue hiking after this, you've got to think they'll end up breaking something. And they just haven't yet. Corporate profits seem to have bottomed at the end of 22 from their drop. And if they only drop 7, 8 percent from tr- from peak to trough, that's pretty benign. That's not recessionary. The Fed wants to break something. The Fed wants to break I mean, something. That's their goofy, stupid economic models with a thousand PhDs. Uh, well, and what it is is a philosophy. They're all from Delaware. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they believe that inflation is caused by uh, economic growth, and it's insane. Too many people, people working. People, too many people working. Too many people producing. Yep. It's the opposite of what you and I believe economically. Um, I think that the bad news on the market front is, you know, profits are down five percent, and the S and P's up twenty. How does that happen? The multiple's up twenty five percent. You got a S and P at twenty times earnings. It's hard to get a lot of multiple expansion past that for the market to get richer. So I think what Pete said's right. You need a broadening of the market. Things into the utilities, healthcare, consumer staples. They had not been participating. They're doing better now. Uh, financials look good. So it, that's what is. You can't have AI and Nasdaq pull the whole market all year. It won't work. <laughs> it was two Except straight quarters you. of negative GDP. Other, no, no, some other people did. I mean, that, he makes an interesting point. Everyone's looking for the recession that may have already happened. The, yeah, and yeah. see, I've used the analogy to 2002's recession, where it was very shallow. You did have oh, two quarters. Right, right. You yeah, had yeah. two quarters of right. negative GDP growth. Right. But most of the job losses were in what? Technology. Right. A lot of the country didn't know you were Overbuilt recession. technology. Now, I will say, look, if corporate profits don't drop, wages don't drop, and jobs don't drop, mm. If that's a recession, you know, I guess we'll take it. And that's what we were a year ago. There were other, as you point out, external economic shocks going on with inflation. Last one, real quick. Oil is up 11 bucks this oh, month. $11 is that in a significant month? in your world outlook? Yeah, first of all, we're big energy investors, so we kind of like it. Second oh. of all, um, it's the one area where you don't see disinflation right now. And energy could disrupt the narrative, and mm. we'll see how serious the Fed is. Are they targeting core or headline? Because headlines are coming way down, and they keep raising. Now with core, it may be coming down and the oil going the other way. So I just think that uh, this is a very bad narrative for the Biden administration of oil going higher. All right, still with us, Dave Bonson, managing partner of the Bonson Group. We tried to get hold of Mike Summers. We had some tech difficulties. Summers is a smart guy. Bonson is really good anyway, so we got him right here. Um, the original segment was going to be about new rules and regulations from the Bidens. They really do want to stop drilling on public lands. They're raising fees. They're cutting back on leasing volume. No matter what they say, and the evidence shows that, we talked briefly about it with Steve Moore, who was in with Trump today. Uh, we should be producing 14, 15 mar- million barrels a day. We're producing 12. And the rig count has gone down. If you watch the rig Wait, count. I, I watched the rig count. All right, so you're an energy guy. Go ahead. Look, first of all, what was Manchin's vote for on this Inflation Reduction Act? I thought it was to get deregulation on permitting approvals, mm-hmm. to streamline the process. They're using all kinds of red tape to hold it up at a state level. The feds were supposed to be able to get through it. They're not. You're right. They do want more restrictions on public lands. I don't really like the regulations they put on private lands either. Mm-hmm. Uh, 15 million is the right number for current demand levels, and uh, we're at 12. So you're two to three under market, and you can't stabilize the market at that level. So think of it. Th- this is a conversation I have with John Katsimatidis, whom you know well, a uh, dear friend, owns WABC. Um, Russia's saber rattles cuts in production. Saudi saber rattle cuts in production. Russia's getting a higher price now. They're beating the $60 Janet Yellen price. They yeah. broached that price. And the overall market, as you mentioned in this uh, earlier segment, you're up 11 bucks uh, in both WTI and Brent in the last month. You think that's going to stick? I think it could go much higher. Ah, now, I mean, you're right. talking about it being up 11 with China not really adding a lot to global demand. Mm-hmm. They were supposed to put a million oh, new barrels on demand. because their economy is lousy. It's just very slow. Right. I mean, that reopening of China has underwhelmed all expectations. You could see 85, 90 if China oh. were to come back to a more normal capacity. And your other point was quite interesting. You linked it to the Fed. 
course, the Fed doesn't know what it wants, except they want jobs to go down and unemployment to go up. But that would show up in the headline number if you get it up to probably this month will show up. I'm just saying any of this stuff, 85, 90 bucks will be a 10, 20 dollar increase. So the headline CPI go back up again, then the Fed would panic. Well, the difference is that the base effect a year ago, it was still higher. And so you're still getting disinflation year over year. And that's why this whole thing that the Fed's doing is so silly, because mm. both sides are trading base effects, meaning compared to a low print or a high print a year ago. Month over month, that part doesn't look good this month. All other inflationary numbers seem to be headed down. But you're, so that's a grounds for optimism in stocks. In stocks. Inflation numbers coming down. I don't know how far and how long, but that's good for stocks. It's got to be. And you just can't be buying the stocks that are already pricing it in at very high Broad valuation. Now. Broaden, Broaden it, it out. out. I like Biden the index. David Bonson, <laughs> terrific stuff. You can substitute anytime. We'll give you 20 minutes the next time.